China is changing. Economic prosperity means people are living longer than ever before, which in turn presents new challenges for the country's health system. That's why the University of Edinburgh has established a groundbreaking partnership with Zhejiang University to train the biomedical scientists of the future. Well, this is a new partnership for uh, the University of Edinburgh. This is a new way of working for us. So this is our first venture into formal educational delivery in, in China. It's a really fantastic opportunity. It marries very well with our biomedical sciences interests in the University of Edinburgh and with the interests of Zhejiang University. Many of the, you know, the, the global challenges in, in healthcare, whether it be you know, obesity, whether it be infectious diseases, you know, men, many of the things we're thinking about cancer and so on, which the institutes are investigating, there are as you know, bigger, if not sometimes bigger challenges in, in China than, than elsewhere. So, yeah, I mean, the, this is a, you know, it's a real huge opportunity of, of bringing things together. These students are being taught as part of a four-year dual award biomedical sciences programme, the first of its type in China. The specific aim is to produce graduates capable of combining scientific medical knowledge with research expertise that will enable them to develop the next generation of treatments for use by doctors. Basically we need you know, people who understand health science, understand disease, but they're not doctors, they're researchers. They can develop tools and technology for the doctors to treat the pre Patients. We believe after this kind of education, this uh, graduate has a unique advantage in the field of China or even in the Asia. This is the first program in China and in Asia on the biomedical field. At an impressive new international campus near Shanghai, experienced staff from Edinburgh, along with new internationally recruited colleagues, work closely with Chinese academics to teach some of the country's brightest students as well as collaborating on cutting-edge research. We are providing them with uh, the knowledge base to be able to move into whatever area they want to move into when they graduate. Um, science is um, one of those subjects where you're not confined to what you trained in. Um, they should have the skill base to be able to specialise and move specialities if they need to. The professor will ask you how would you design an experiment to, to demonstrate your ideas and it's a very professional question and you have to work very hard to, um, to answer this question well. I think it is um, quite developed my own um, ability to, to think of this kind of things. It's very great that we have uh, top teachers from China and top teachers from Edinburgh. And I think it's a great combination. Also for, for Chinese for, Ch for Chinese college, it's a great chance to learn about the different forms of giving lectures, tutorials, because in China we don't have tutorials um, in the most college. So it's a great chance to learn about these new forms and help us improve the, the Chinese college education. The intertwining of teaching and research is a key aspect of the Zhejiang partnership. This approach ensures students learn from those at the forefront of new science. People like Dr Richard Sloan, who splits his time between the lab and the lecture theatre in both Edinburgh and Zhejiang. There has to be both. You know, without good uh, research, they can't be good teaching because you don't have that flow through of information that the, the, your courses have the, the very latest insights and understanding and are on point with research. Uh, so I think good research does inform good teaching and, and that's why I'm very supportive of this programme because it, it prioritises both. What we really hope and what the, these students are going to do is go out into the wider world um, with this really diverse uh, background, um, collaboration, a real sense of collaboration and um, meeting new ideas, synthesising uh, new concepts together. Uh, and also taking the advantages of the different systems that they've been working in. So really allow them to be truly international, to be truly global.